Welcome back. Today is day six. Today we're going to work on this table. And we're going to try to turn this into something that resembles this. Well, we have a few things on here that we notice that kind of stand out. We have these newspapers. We have um, a glass with a lemon in it. And a reflective surface here, like a mirror. And then we have this table with this uh, nice uh, wood grain on it. So the first thing we're going to do here is um, see what we can do about this table. Now it is, according to this, using the wood shader. So let's check and see if there is actually just a wood texture here. Looks like there is. There are a few of them. Let's try this one. See how this looks. Okay, so we do not have a UV map on here. Otherwise, we would see this texture um, actually visible on this surface. So what we're going to have to do first is go grab the model for this and apply a UV uh, surface to the top. Otherwise we're just not going to be able to get this um, nice looking uh, wood grain finish uh, anywhere. And there is our wood surface. It looks really nice. It doesn't appear to have a UV map. Let's take a look at the surface though before we do that. Cubic projection Wood fine is the texture we're using. Okay, good. We should try this as an atlas first and see how that looks. Okay, so that's not bad. It's not far off. Um, gets us pretty close. So let's use that. We're going to select just the upper surfaces of this. If we're looking straight down, we could probably just do this, do this as a uh, planer. Let's take a look at that. It's a little stretched here. So we want this to stretch out, but we don't want to stretch it out vertically. We're going to want to stretch it out horizontally. And I could get real precise here, but I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Close enough. Okay. Cut, paste, and we're back in. Um, that's good enough for now. 427. This is the one we want. To drag it as usual into the other object and then we're going to move it out of the other object take the one that's already in there and deactivate that and you can see immediately that we now have um, our correct uh, texture on here in the picture it looks a little a little more yellow that's probably the lighting so we're going to leave it as is for now oh but we do want to change the um, smoothing angles just a little bit here. All right? Okay. Looking good. All right. Uh, this is supposed to be a mirror here, this top area here. Clearly it is not actually working as a mirror. And we would like to change that. So the easiest way to do this is to use a separate, um, a, a, actually a separate, is a completely separate object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this table, go to game object, I'm going to create a 3D plane, kind of move it up until it's roughly on exactly underneath that top part there, and then I'm going to scale it. Now, I can't delete this uh, mirror here because it's actually part of the same geometry as the rest of the table. What I can do though is I can turn off that shader. So I'm just going to hit uh, 1 here under materials. And what you'll notice is if you look at these two materials here, you see the first one is the wood fine material for this the, the rest of the table. And the second one is the mirror. If I hit 1 here and hit return, it will hide that mirror because it gets rid of that material so it no longer renders. So all that's left is this thing that I just put on here. And now what I want to do is I want to make this reflective. And this is a case where the instant turntable system kind of steps in and helps. If you will look in the instant turntable, uh, let's get out of here. If you will look in the scripts folder, you'll see that there is a script called um, mirror reflection. We're going to drag that on here. And there is also a shader. Now I'm probably going to move this to a separate shaders folder uh, in the next version of the uh, instant turntable system. In fact, I'm going to do that now. 
and I'll show you exactly how I would go about doing that. Just create, click over here and create a folder. Call it shaders. Okay. And go into scripts. I'm going to drag this shader, this reflection shader, and go stick it into the shaders folder. So if you um, if you have the instant turntable system, the next update will have this shaders folder that you're seeing here with this reflection shader. So click on this guy here. And what we want to do is we want to create a material that is going to use that reflection shader. And there's already one in here. It's called reflection, and it's this one. We're just going to drag it on here. Actually, we're going to drag it here. OK, now instantly, it now reflects the background. Now, this is a special shader with a special uh, texture. This dark gray plaster, it's called. Um, this is a, a part of the instant turntable system also. Um, this particular one basically just makes it kind of dark. And I can't help but notice that in the render here, it's actually quite bright. Hmm. So we're going to try to match that, at least kind of match it. And we're just going to replace this with mostly white. You notice over here, these materials, one of them is called lemon. Now my guess is dragging this onto the albedo is going to create a lemon, and it did. I'm going to turn the brightness up on that just to make it a bright lemon. Ta-da! Beautiful. Okay. And then also we have this glass here that looks kind of um, suboptimal. We'll call it that. Let's take our, let's take a, um, let's see what we can do there. Let's take that dark gray plaster that we just did. Let's put that in the albedo mask and turn up the brightness a little bit. That should make it just look a little bit nicer. And now, when we look at this, as you can see, there is actually a, uh, yeah, you can see the lemon. Now, it's kind of a jagged edges there on our reflection. To fix that, we just simply click on that and go over here to texture size and let's type in 1024. And now it's nice and sharp, crisp looking, and you can see the reflection uh, of our glass. It's a little offset though, it's a little wrong, the reflection is. And that's because we have a clip plane offset here. Let's set that to zero. Much better. The other thing I notice is that when we walk towards this plane, we're walking up on top of it. The reason is because when we use this native uh, Unity object that created this plane, it has a mesh collider that came along with it. We're just going to remove that. Okay. And that's all there is to that. Now I've got these newspapers back here. Let's see what the surface is on this. It's a planar projection. It says wallstreet.jpg is the name. But there's no UV map. That's going to be a problem for us. So let's make sure there's a UV map on these now. Planar, straight down. Okay. Now we're going to take our newspapers object, drag it into the other one. drag it back out, and hide the original. Now on a new one, I'm going to go in here and use the Wall Street Journal, or the Wall, Wall Street JPEG, and voila. Now if you notice, the back of these is white. Well, that's not exactly what we want. And if we turn this to black, it's going to make everything black. That's not good either. So how are we going to fix that? Well, easiest way, um, actually there are a few different ways we could do this, but we're going to cheat 
And here in Unity, what we're going to do is we're going to take this newspapers object and duplicate it. And just for the case, the sake of uh, keeping track of this stuff, I'm going to move the newspapers up object up near the other newspapers object. And what we're going to do now is on this one, we're going to use a different uh, material. So we're going to create a material and we'll call it um, shadow. And on this one, all we're going to do is turn the brightness down and we're going to apply that to our duplicate here. Then we're going to move it slightly down. See what we did there? It's not quite what I want though because it's making this edge flicker. Okay, well we can fix that. We're going to scale it down. It's basically scale it down fairly flat. Go to point 0.1. it back up so that it's on the visible plane and we're going to grab our other newspapers and lift them up slightly too. Okay. And now for our shadow one we're going to just uh, expand this just a little bit. Now the next thing we could do if we wanted to is um, we could use uh, an alpha uh, image here of the newspaper. That would be one way to make it kind of um, work as a better looking uh, um, shadow. Uh, another one here is what we're going to do right here is just use we're just going to use the um, the mask of this. We're going to use uh, transparency on the uh, shader and just kind of kind of give it a slightly darker look. And that's pretty good. We might come back in and do some touch-up later, but that gets us pretty close on the table as a whole. Okay. And that is all we need to do on the table for now.